Hello, y'all. So today is Tuesday. Once again, bipolar ass weather in North Carolina. When I looked at the darn going temperature Continue before getting miles. ready, it was like 50 some degrees. Now, by the time I got out here, it's in the 70s. But we are heading to Hand and Stone for my second part of my interview. Well, actually, this is like the third part. Uh, I wonder how many parts we're going to have to do. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably like one more because I'm sure they want to see a wax demonstration as well. But, oh, as y'all can tell, yeah, with the situation with the bitch at the house and shit, I ain't had time to put on no makeup or nothing. And it's like, well, hell. I'm, I'm wearing a mask anyways. Now, from what I've gotten to experience last week, it seems like the, because I was scoping out the seat, it seems like the person who, you know, you're giving a service to has the option of whether you can, uh, whether they will want you to wear a mask or not. And I don't know if that means that they also have the option of saying, well, I prefer the bitch not to have a mask on. Because you know, once again, we we are in a swing state, so don't think that some people might not be bold enough to say something like that. Because I can imagine they got some darn on conservative darn on customers that come up in here that be on that darn on anti-mask shit and be like, well, I would prefer since we out of this darn on coat Covisha situation that she can darn go and take on mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm keeping my mask on. And it's not even for COVID at this point. It's because, honey, low key, this darn on mask situation has been a blessing in disguise as I go through this darn on transition, honey. Honey, I'm transitioning right, right in the perfect stage where you get to conceal some stuff. Now, granted, I'm nowhere near as bad as what I used to be as far as my texture and stuff giving me away. But, and then I was able to quickly shave this morning. My hair keeps growing back on a weekly like it used to, but the density is no longer there like it was. So, it only takes me literally like two to three minutes to shave versus like back in the day, it used to be like 10 to 15 because I had far more hair. Then I had to go in with my um, treatments afterwards because after I would shave, I would immediately put on the Save Brazil um, enzyme mist and then I, I'll follow it up with some clay. I don't know what these bitches doing in front of me. Oh Lord, they all single file, no wonder. Damn, they not going to drive like they in the funeral child. But anyways, Yeah, y'all. I was contemplating after seeing the reviews. I was like, ooh, do I even want to cut it? I was like, child, use condoms in the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, uh, management, darn going, can't stay steady. And then even as I was trying to go back on a D, I seen darn going to sell. I meant the uh, sales rep reposition. I was like, wait a minute. This, this spot went from Honey, it was a rarity to even see a job opportunity open up for Hand and Stone to now it's starting to become too common. I'm trying to figure out like what in the world's going on. Them darn, you know, you also got to be careful when a darn on spot opens up a little bit too often. You got the question of what is making a, a, a high turnover rate like this. Like now she did disclose that sales were down. But hell, it sells down that much where we having to do turnovers like this. And then I was also reading about sometimes they overbook on the corporate side. They try to fill up all the rooms. But the problem with that is if you don't have the, uh, the clientele to match that, you have people with a lot of free time on their hands. And then you you get trapped up in all that unnecessary cleaning and stuff. Because it's like, if you ain't seeing no client and you keep your room up in between clients, it's like, really, what is there to clean at this point? 
Oh, god damn. See, that's the bullshit I be fucking t Oh, Lord, y'all can't even see what's going on. There's literally a car accident. Damn, why is my why is there a white spot on my camera? On my uh I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Son of a bitch. Are y'all motherfuckers kidding me? I am literally stuck, y'all. Let me turn on my flashes. Cause God damn it, I can't even know I'm gonna get the fuck over. Shit. And then that blue car in front of me is blocking. Honey, I need some darn on evidence. Y'all motherfuckers make me late for my damn interview if y'all want to. Now, bitch, why you jump in front of me? What, where are you going, whore? Child, this is crazy. See, this is why people hate coming on Skyboat. Y'all non-driving motherfuckers. And then the thing is, I can't even take no darn on photo evidence. This is crazy. Let me see if the truck be nice enough to let me over like, God damn. Please let me over, truck. Oh, they gone. Okay, shit. Cause them motherfuckers wasn't gonna let me over. Motherfuckers. Once again, I don't know what's going on with my camera where y'all can't see shit. But it was a whole dirt. Man. Shit, that just threw off my whole motherfucking mood. Between my camera having some sort of glare on it where y'all couldn't even see the shit. See, this is why you always plan to, to get out earlier than a spit. Because if I was running on time, I would have been late. I always darn on prep 20 minutes. I always tried my best to get to my destination 15 to 20 minutes early for situations like this. Because with Sky Bowl, and darn on ignorant bitches that won't let you over. Just a trip. In a quarter mile, but we ain't gonna let this deter me. We ain't gonna let this darn on knock my mood down. I gotta brace myself for this darn on sitting your facial. I ain't done a facial like this in two years. Because y'all know when I did skincare. I focus more so on, you know, the chemical aspects and stuff like that. Road. Oh, Lord, y'all, I got to get back into this because I know there's probably going to be some steam road. Now, maybe they utilize hot towels. I don't know. That, shit, that's one, one thing I should have asked. Because right. once again, with mile, the stuff that I used to do, road. it did not require steam. And matter of fact, steam weakened the darn on products that I would use. And another reason why I avoided steam was because once again, dealing with certain skin types. I almost missed my turn, y'all. Shit. I would have went on down and had to make a U-turn. Oh. Them cameras flash. Don't, don't. <laughs> Honey, they, they must have got that car right there because it's like, bitch, I'm, I'm stopped. Lord knows every time I see a camera flash, honey, 
Diva Juan went 12 years without ever having a ticket, and now <laughs> within this year, darn on doing a uh, lift, I done got like two, three tickets. I done paid one of them, but it's two that's not paid for. And it's like, well, hell, y'all don't let motherfuckers go with up to 5000 I heard about my former neighbor who had upwards of $5,000 worth of tickets. Not the old man, but the young uh, pretty boy that used to uh, stay behind me. I was like, shit, they darn gonna let you slide with up to five thousand dollars in tickets before they took your shit. Hell, they they can hold off. They can wait a minute for this darn on uh four hundred dollars. I owe them two hundred dollars per ticket. I wish like hell they would call themselves trying to suspend my damn license with four hundred dollars worth of damn tickets. And you got motherfuckers on the road out here. $5,000 worth of shit. But anyways, y'all. I'm trying to darn on. This time I ain't even see with this bitch taking off the way she does. I ain't even had time to darn on. Wash my darn on. One and only darn on um, scrub. Because once again, I didn't wear scrubs. But once again, they say they're going to provide a scrub. So... I was worried, but still, when you enter the establishment, I, I I still like to be professional. So I found this silk top. I wish y'all can see it, but with the way my camera's positioned, y'all can't see it. But it's a, it's more like I don't know what you describe it. In six hundred feet, turn left. Almost like casual professional. Kind of coming this way. Uh, me. Did I come this way the last time? I don't know. This is weird. Oh, I think because last time I ended up coming that way. This time it has me coming through BJ's, y'all. If anybody's familiar with Skyrock, right. or if you if you say it in the uh, the non-native way, Skibo. But anybody that's from Fayetteville, we say Skibo, even though it's spelled S-K-I-B-O. Once again, it's a native Vietnam thing. Take the next right, then turn left. Fitness Connection. Thought about getting a membership for them. But they all the way out here though. And Planet Fitness is on Ramsey. But honey, I've been hearing some bad things about Planet Fitness. Take the next left, then you'll arrive at your destination. y'all we're here for whatever reason it sent me through the back way this time Ooh, 10 52 so I got three minutes to talk with y'all take me a sip of water before we get on up in here oh y'all get to see my face a little bit clear now my camera dog is something blocking my camera? Oh, that's why. I had my darn on camera. I had it a little bit positioned too forward. Okay. Damn, y'all. Uh-oh, why won't... Uh... Okay, y'all, fuck it. If only y'all can see what I can see on my screen. I can't take off the little map thing, so I just got to deal with it for the next few minutes. But I'm here. Let me go ahead and get a sip of my water. I overfroze it on purpose because how hot it is out here, I knew by the time I got here, 
it'll be like this. And then it will hold until I'm, you know, done with the facial. Especially since I'm about to put it in the insulated bag. got one customer going in so they got static traffic so honey at least with this location I might not have to worry about them having too many darn on it's but see once again we don't know if she going in for a darn on um massage or a darn on a stick service but time will tell time will tell Anyways, it's 1055. Let me get on, get ready to get on up in here, and I'll be back out once okay, I am done. Okay, y'all, we are done. Let me see if my water, oh, my water stayed cold, y'all, in this insulated bag. That's a good thing. Of course, we're gonna wait till I get away from the building to take this mask off. And then I get to tell y'all about my experience. Am I going to the left? Am I going to the left? Am I going to the left? Mm -hmm. Ooh, no, seriously, y'all. Am I going to the left or am I going to the right? Let's chance it. We got time today. I'm not going to work with Liv. Well, unless the demon did not wait, get herself up in time. And then I guess I will be. But, oh y'all, they had a girl do a, a 50 minute facial. <laughs> and Lord knows, y'all. It, and it wasn't bad. It's just, I don't have no clue about the product line. Because once again, I'm I'm up all night. I'm looking at the educational videos, right? So I don't want y'all thinking that Diva Wine just came into this blind. I looked at the Hand and Stone website and stuff. And I'm prepping myself to do a Dermalogica-based um, facial. So I, I'm going in there and I'm just feeling all tight. I said, mm-hmm, I just got <laughs> watching this video on Dermalogical, honey, I'm about to darn go do. I'm about to show them, honey. Child, I get up in there. Honey, they had me darn gone with nothing but clarity. I said, oh, hell. And once again, I don't have no clue about clarity other than the fact that it's not. And I guess that's a good thing because, honey, we can't necessarily fuck up. Well, hell, you can fuck up somebody with some natural skincare products. Don't you? I don't want y'all thinking just because it's natural don't mean you can't fuck up. Uh, especially if you put something like a pumpkin mask on somebody. Ooh, or a pepper mask. Child, they'd be jumped off the table if you ain't know what you're doing. Oh, but yeah, y'all. Child. I'm trying to learn the products as I go. Thank goodness that some of the steps required me to, uh, and then the steamer was gone. That what really fucked me up. And number one, I'm thinking I'm having a dipsy moment. Cause it's been some years since I've had to use a steamer in a spa. And I, but it's like common sense. It's like, okay, if the thing is plugged in, obviously you just aren't gonna turn. I look down, oh Lord. <laughs> I said, okay, the darn gone thing that holds the water is missing. Let me just go on here underneath the cabinet and find the damn thing. Child, it wasn't there. <laughs> so we had the darn gone get clever. So, honey, I guess they can darn gone evaluate the fact that I had the darn gone adapt under some circumstance. Oh, see, now why is the ambulance still here? 
Now this is crazy. So this is a whole nother a car accident we fake. See y'all thought I'd be I'd be making shit up with darn gone Skybo. And this time I got my camera adjusted. So if they still up here, I can turn this camera around so y'all can see what I said. Ooh, I wish y'all could have seen Hot Tramp. Once again, what not be people? See, now damn, I'm not even on the road with Lyft today, honey. We don't supposed to be seeing trade on darn gone off Lyft hours, honey. But anyways, yeah, we had to modify some things. So I had to go through all the tiles, honey. I hope I put the tiles in the right space. I mean, it was only one darn bucket that was empty, so I'm thinking, well, common sense, that has to be where the darn gone tiles go. But they say they will reach back out to me in regards to my eval. Now I'm trying to figure out how is that going to work when the person who interviewed me, right, is the same person from, like, but she don't disclose like she's the head of the um, front desk. She doesn't have any estate, so I'm trying to figure out like, child, how is this working? I'm just curious. Somebody got to be lying. I think somebody lying. Because how in the hell y'all gonna? But once again, hell, if they want to get in the door, I ain't saying shit. But I'm thinking, okay, you the head of the desk. The person that I did the facial on is a person at the front desk with no aesthetic background. I'm trying to think. Well, how's they gonna know if I actually fucked up and did some shit? So I'm thinking the person that I actually worked on low key has to be an institution because that's the only way you can really gauge if I was doing something correct or not. Because if I'm doing something completely wrong, you know, with the years in the game that I got, I can finesse some shit. And you would never know. I'm looking like up uh, because of that, honey, there was a couple up old moments. And then some stuff was just so much out of my hands. Like I said, with the steamer, I, I just had no choice but to say, uh, we're going to modify this darn on process. It ain't going to be no steam today. Wait a minute now, motherfucker. You better darn on took the picture of them. I I'm behind the motherfucking line. See, once again, that darn on camera flash. It better caught that darn on car right here, right beside me. Cause I'm behind the motherfucking line. Now if I end up getting a ticket for that one, honey, I'm disputing that shit. Cause honey, let it be known as of darn gone whatever day, April the 12th, 12, uh, 32 p.m. Diva Wine is behind this line at this motherfucking Matter of fact, I'm going to forward day ass to this video. If I end up going to court behind this one, honey, I am behind the damn line. See, that darn on camera thing is getting a little bit too trigger happy. Darn on wanting to take pictures. Oh, okay. It, it, it's catching them. But hell, they had a right turn, though. And it didn't even go off for her. But it just went off for that second car. See, that camera's fucked up. That camera damn selective. It want the darn gonna take pictures of whoever it wants to take pictures to. Because how come it didn't take that picture for that third car and that third car done went past the line too? I guess because the light turned green one second later, but the light wasn't green when she darn gonna went forward. And not that it should have mattered anyway because all three of the cars turned damn right. Honey, Fayetteville, y'all need to get y'all camera system together. And y'all likes. Because, honey, especially towards uh, yakking, y'all know by every other week the damn lights go out. 
I'm talking about in the middle of broad daylight, it ain't no uh, storm or anything. And then next thing you know, the darn gone whole lights are out and we got to play a guessing game and darn gone eight, eight way traffic of who needs to go where because it's about, it's going to take 10 minutes for the crash investigators to come and uh, delegate traffic. But back to darn gone hand install, y'all. If both of them were actually indeed just sales rep and neither one of them was the esthetician, well, she could, the white, uh, you know, the uh, the head person could have been the esthetician, but she didn't pop in not one time. I guess they're going to get feedback from the girl, honey. I don't know. But let's keep our fingers crossed. Now, they didn't mention anything surprisingly about a wax. And you know, during the um during the facial, they did ask uh, a girl about, you know, am I going to be doing wax? And I was like, I will assume so. They was like, well, hell, if they mention it, probably not. So I guess they're going to just start a girl off on skincare. I, I don't know. I thought it was going to ask me back for the wax demonstration portion of it. I don't know. Anybody who worked from Hand and Stone, can y'all tell me the procedure in my Vivica A. Fox voice? What is the procedure when you go in as a new Esty? I guess they I guess they might think, well, the wax is just so common sense. You ain't really got to learn about the waxing. If you coming in with experience, you just go ahead and do the waxing. But hell, I need to know the wax because not all waxes are made the same. Some are different. You got gel waxes, you got cream wax, you got hard wax, you got soft wax. Uh, some establishments prefer, you know, all over hard wax for areas such as Brazilian. Me personally, I do half and half. I do like soft wax on the top pubic mound and then on the labia or, you know, for the male on the shaft and scrotum, I do the hard wax. Some establishments just do all soft wax. So it's like, it's just subtle stuff like that I need to learn, like... But anybody who works with hand and stone, if y'all can give a girl a little bit of tidbit advice, and, and I'm gonna try to darn gonna get this up within a couple days in real time in semi-real time so y'all can actually give me the advice. Cause y'all know your girl usually I'm I'm known for darn gonna putting out a video weeks later after the fact. I'm gonna try my best where it's not the case in this situation. I did look on their website again. It takes some time to pull up the menu. Like they, you got to go on a scavenger hunt on their website to find the full menu. But from what it shows on the darn on website though, they do do man wax. At least I'm assuming so because it showed a picture of a guy and a female So I'm, I'm thinking that she indeed misspoke on the fact that they don't do male wax, which wouldn't make sense for an establishment as large as Hand and Stone not to do male waxing. Unless they're talking about the Brazilian. So maybe she meant they just don't do male Brazilian. But anyways, that is my experience, y'all. We'll hope to get this call back. If not, y'all know Diva One. She always got a plan B up her sleeve, honey. And then if plan B don't work, bitch, I'm a Capricorn. We got a plan C. Plan B, I don't necessarily, I might have to skip straight to Plan C because it's like, honey, I don't, I don't know what Diva's cut out for sugar. Because 
because one place I'm eyeing, oh, I think they require for all the SD. Although, if they can let me be the solo SD that just do the hard and soft wax, and you you would go to somebody else with it. I take a pay decrease if it don't if I can have the convenience of not having to do that darn old sugar because sugar wax is a whole you got it's not even learning it it's adapting your mind to deal with sh because sugaring is the complete opposite of darn old, um regular waxing like I'm used to just putting it on and taking it off. Sugar wax, I don't know how you could be a speed sugar and wax because you got you don't have no choice but the darn old drag it on the skin slow and steady versus with darn on the hard wax and the regular wax, the soft wax, honey, it's a lot more swift. You darn on flick it a flick it a flick it a whisk, whoop, you know, apply it in a 45 degree angle in the direction of hair growth, removing the opposite and keep it moving. And you know certain areas, you know you hold the skin tight and whatnot. But sugaring, oh, I don't know. But hell, I, I'll be willing to learn, for $25 an hour, I'll be willing to learn it. How's this bitch walking in the middle of the damn road? That's why I, I did. That's why I do want to get this because I have to get away from this side of town, honey. So, providing this demon on went to work, honey, we're going to go on here and start unprivating some videos today because it's still showing that I only got 12 videos on my Diva Wan channel. For y'all that don't know, Diva Wan got hacked and I lost my channel for a whole week. So, now I got to undo all that damage. But that is it, y'all. Feel free to like comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all soon with more videos. Oh, also, y'all, I got to give y'all a little bit of backstory about this neighbor situation, honey. Like, this is so weird. Like, the neighbor that's in a coma, the old guy, I got a text from his phone last night to say, make sure that the uh, his door is secure, and I was like, I believe your grandson is back there. Not the pretty boy, the, the the other one. Um. Now here he is peeking his head out. The Lord Jesus, I'm not going to stress myself with this situation. I'm going in the house. I'm getting me some leave. <laughs> so I, we, we'll talk about this on a live stream. A live stream is way overdue. So yeah, y'all. We about to go ahead and have the conversation. So, and of course, I'll let y'all know some time in advance. Oh, and I'm going to keep my promise. It's going to be later on in the afternoon. Because I know y'all was like, D1, these last streams, 3 o'clock in the afternoon is a little bit too early in the day. So I'm going to try to aim for 6 o'clock. I know that's still a little bit too early for some folks. But see, the fact of my limit, I can't start at like 8 or 9 o'clock for obvious reasons. So it's either going to be six or seven. So y'all look out for that. But anyways, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos.